I'm Brittany, and this is Drew. And for the past five years, we've been traveling the world by van. And we just recently finished building Spirit, our fifth van home and first ever conversion. Subscribe, and we look forward to sharing where this unpredictable adventure takes us all. Idaho. It's nice and early this morning, and that's when I tend to work best. So, Drew's going to be sleeping for a couple more hours while I get us started on what it's like to work in our van. So, I'm up. Sun's almost up, and I'm about to start editing this week's YouTube episode. So, come along with. We got quite a day ahead. Some warm lemon water to start the day. With a slice of fresh ginger somewhere in there. There's our view in the mountains. Only gonna get better. Andrew's still sleeping back there. Making my little mighty bright light the perfect light to use so that I don't wake him up. Well, I'm all set up here. Got my computer out on our little swivel table. Waiting for the sun to rise. Andrew, until then, I'll be editing away for the next couple of hours. up. Drew is almost up. And I've been editing away, but I went to drop this text, and ever since then I have the rainbow wheel of death. It's been about 30 minutes, giving it some time to think, but I have to force quit it. And I'm just praying that everything that I've done this morning is still there. I really don't want to do this, but I don't know what else to do. Wish me luck. Cross your fingers and toes, everyone. Come on, potato movie. Please. Yes. Yes! Alright, back to editing. such a beautiful spot that we're in. This is all national forest land. You can hear a stream down here. Love Idaho. Love, love Idaho. Well, today's gonna be a work day. We unfortunately can't stay in this spot any longer because we don't have any Wi-Fi service, which is such a bummer because it'd be so nice to work from this spot. We do have a WeBoost antenna on a roof that helps amplify the satellite cell signal down to our phones or our computers using our Verizon hotspot, which is usually really good. We also have T-Mobile on our phones, but you can't rely on that all the time. So what we're gonna do is drive down to the Sun Valley parking lot. We worked there two days ago. We know there's Wi-Fi there. It's not too far, it's like a seven minute drive. We're gonna hit the road now. We're gonna come along for the ride, see what a work day in our lives looks like in the van. Brittany's working oh so hard editing this week's Adventure Thursday video. She's got her earbuds in. Hey babes, time to pack up. All right, time to relocate. Means I gotta fold everything up, put everything on pause. Not too bad, but the things you do for Wi-Fi, right? Yes, <laughs> let's go. And here we are, parking strategically for the sun. 
it's never easy to leave beautiful camping spots like that. No, that was a great spot. It was. We can return there later tonight, though. Yeah, it's only a couple minute drive away. And today is a work hard day. We took the day off yesterday for Drew's birthday. We hiked up to Pioneer Cabin, which was pretty incredible. Yeah, it was a very epic, epic hike. Idaho has been full of awesome adventures. We really enjoyed Stanley this past weekend, hiking to the lake, swimming in the streams. <gasps> stoked we saw moose yesterday. Oh yeah, moose with their baby. Yeah. Yep. But right now we're back in the same parking lot where we worked the day away two days ago. This was a treat to come back to because usually we're always moving forward and we knew we'd have good Wi-Fi coming back here. Yeah, a little bit of a known. Yeah. Although Drew's probably going <laughs> to explore the library today. Yeah, we drove by it and it looked gorgeous yesterday so we're going to check it out and I was told they have very fast Wi-Fi. Work hard today. <laughs> Play day is coming again soon. What do you have to say about mountain biking? <laughs> I don't like it. It's ridiculous. Why am I I'll be happier once the bike is locked up. Sometimes I just can't help myself on a bike. But work hard, play hard, right? This is our first day of playing after four hard days of work. It's only going to get better now. Now that we're off the bike. Now they have bug spray. <laughs> and bug spray. <sighs> You're almost here. We did it. Did it, good job. Kiss. You just freaking tripped on this gnarly stump went and you just flying. went flying. Now you have prickers all over you. That's gonna leave a bruise. This is quite a day for you. Look at your face. <gasps> Look at that dirt. So beautiful. Now I'm smiling. Look at that view behind you. Oh wow. We tend to work three to four days a week and play three to four days a week. Trying to find a real solid balance between being on the screen and being in real life. All depends on the projects and workload we have for that week. So And adventures that we have planned because we have like a three night backpacking trip coming up. We don't exactly know where or what trail it is yet, but we yeah. are craving that. We tend to do one of those trips every single year, so. I bought a map and it's in Wyoming. We know that much. The, the Wind River Range. Range, yeah. All right, back to work for me. One thing that I'm certain to do wherever we go to check the quality of the Wi-Fi is to run a speed test. It shows me a download rate per megabyte rate and a upload rate. Anything over mm, three megabytes download is workable. 10 is absolutely much better, or sometimes I've seen even like 60 up to 100 depending on where we are, but that's very rare. Let's do a speed test and see what happens here. We're using our Verizon hotspot, and there we go. 15 megabyte download rate. Let's check the upload, and we have an 11. You think I'll be able to upload on that? I think it'd be great. All right, I better edit. Push that video back there. I tend to be a standing worker. So I flip up our little countertop extension, turn on our inverter and plug in our 12 volt thingy for my computer. Let the workday continue. Now Drew's going to benefit from me choosing the music for this week's episode. <laughs> so I actually get all of our music from... Epidemic sound. Music is probably one of my favorite parts. Hey, this could work. Cool. I like it. Another perk of working in the van is dance parties, and I don't have to wear pants. <laughs> what was that I just heard you say? No. <laughs> 
I have to use the restroom. Brittany's got to take a number two, and since our compost toilet, which is stored over there, isn't set up for number twos right now, you must go in town. Great. Great. Why couldn't it be you? Because I'm still drinking my coffee. It's not all the way in my system yet. I haven't had any coffee. <laughs> now you need pins. <laughs> take care of your biz. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Come back smelling like flowers. Always. Well, when nature calls. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Then what followed was four hours of razor-sharp focus as Drew tackled his tasks and I poured all that I've got into editing an episode, just like the one you're watching now. Hey. So it's now almost one. It's time for lunch. I could use a little break. And my editing has been going actually a lot faster than I anticipated. I got a lot of work done on Monday, so there wasn't much left to do today, which is very exciting. But before lunch can happen, we have to clear all of this away first. Ready? Does it work? <laughs> and it's time for lunch. It's been up on my one of our favorite van life lunch tricks is to cook a lot of extra pasta and or rice yeah, that you can then eat cold and mix in a bunch of fun things. Like I got some celery, broccoli. some broccoli, some our, lettuce, yeah, and vegan mayo. I know he loves this. Uh, looks, like, looks like I got a joint sign in here. And I'm gonna dig in here. Oh, it's hard to resist. He's finally off of his phone call. How was your not so cold pasta salad? Very warm lunch. It's getting hot in here. Let's get to the library sooner oh. than later. Let's do it. But first, you want to tell us about your phone call? Basically, it was figuring out secure image sharing for medical files in our office. And that's the office that Drew manages back in the Midwest that has allowed us to sustain life on the road for the past four-ish years. And it's just me and the doctor and our awesome staff who work there. Well, it's been incredible though, it's not the end all be all, is it? It is not, because through our adventures, we've really had our eyes opened and really want to dive headfirst into Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. So that's what the second half of the day is going to be all about, working on to the library, to the AC. Take us to the air conditioning. Back, back. Thank you. Feels crazy grabbing a sweater right now, but we could encounter potential Arctic air conditioning when we get in there. Sunshades are in. And we're off. Take the time. Beautiful library closes at 8. We've both gotten a lot of 
work done. Now the only thing I have left to do is the cover image for the video so that I can schedule the video to go live tomorrow morning because where we park tonight will likely not have Wi-Fi and so that would mean that tomorrow morning we would either need to wake up really early and seek out Wi-Fi or stay parked in a parking lot where we have Wi-Fi, which neither one of those is very fun. So the fact that I can schedule it to go live first thing is great, and then I'll get to the comments ASAP. As you can see, work days are work hard days. We are kind of neurotic about it. We don't do anything else except for tackle emails, edit the things, upload the stuff, call the people, just all the things. And when it comes to playtime, oh yeah. We adventure hard. That's gonna leave a bruise. This is quite a day for you. Look at your face. Look at that dirt. That's how we find balance. I don't have much time left. I gotta get that thumbnail done. All right, back to the library. <laughs> shutting down coffee shops and libraries now. And such. Yeah. And such. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. I never feel like I get enough done. There's always more on the to-do plate. We're going to be back here tomorrow for you, aren't we? Yeah, I think tomorrow is going to be a full work day. And look, our home is right here. So convenient. We'll make something easy tonight. Sounds like a plan. Just a long work day, we get to come home to this. And every day it changes. There's a babbling creek in the background. There are butterflies fluttering around. It smells like fresh sage. And at night it is pitch black and the stars are so bright and we can see them in our roof hatch. It's magical and one of the many reasons why after five years of van life, we still aren't sick of it. Like, in fact, we love it more and more. Especially since having a deck on our roof. That has really given us a whole new level of perspective to enjoy all of this from. Come up and join me, babes. I'm coming. There's just some big bushels in the way. I don't want to crush the pretty little flowers. Welcome to the second deck. <laughs> where the views are oh so fine. We got a neighbor out there. Wow. We're getting the last glimpse of the sun up there. And a bit on this peak. Does anybody else drink orange in their orange liqueur? How fancy. Fancy up here. Wow. <laughs> we can both enjoy the view. <laughs> hmm. Is there still some left? Mm -mm. I am starving. It's 9.15. We can't seem to get ourselves to eat before the sun goes down. Mm -mm -mm. Usually Drew does the dishes, but tonight he grilled. And I know he still has a lot of work cut out for him, so I went ahead and I'm going to surprise him with clean dishes. He usually yells at me when I do the dishes for him, but I know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's still fun. Thanks for the surprise. I get kisses instead, so. You get double props as a van wife tonight. Thanks. It's warm in here now. Grilling always makes for less dishes, which is nice. Thanks for crushing it and doing those dishes. Thanks for grilling, Grill Master. No problemo. 
All right, it's getting late, guys. It's after 10.30. Brittany's turning into a pumpkin, and I'm gonna work for a few more hours because I have Wi-Fi connectivity. It has been a long and wonderful, productive day. So thank you guys for coming along with for a day in the life of yeah. how we work in the van slash sometimes in a library or a cafe. Yeah. But for all the unknowns that we usually encounter, today worked out pretty smoothly to bring you along. And if you guys haven't subscribed to this adventure yet, click that subscribe button and that bell if you haven't already. Yeah, the bell sends you those little notifications to let you know when we've posted the next video. We'll see you guys next Adventure Thursday. Thanks for helping us build this community and everything that Mr. and Mrs. Adventure is going to be bringing at you. Thanks, guys. Good night. Peace.